assalamu alaikum friends you are watching star technology 5g today we will study the basic of this t language let's start the video c language c is probably the most widely known programming language c is a general purpose programming language that is extremely popular simple and flexible it is machine independent structured programming language which is used extensively in a various application c is a structured programming language in which program is divided into various module each module can be written separately and together it form a single c program this structure make it easy for testing maintaining and debugging the process structure of a c language a C program basically consists of the following parts preprocessor commands function parameter function body commands here you can see a C program here is the preprocessor command here is the main function here is the body of the function here we define a variable here we assign a value to a variable here we add a number in variable and this is return the value preprocessor command hash include studio dot h is called a preprocessor command preprocessor command are identified by the hash at the beginning of the line in this case hash include tell the preprocessor to open the file studio dot h and read it into the program to be compiled with the remainder of the program preprocessor command tell the compiler to add that specific file just like we add studio.h just like this one in this file compiler add this specific file studio.h to the remainder of the program next is a function the next line int main is the main function where the program execution begin a function is a group of a statement that together perform a task every c program has at least a one function which is main next line is a function you can see this one this is the function every c program has a one main function in main function we can add data manipulate data and anything we want to do we will add that function into a main function next is parameters a parameter is like a placeholder where a function is involved you pass a value to the parameter this value is referred to as actual parameter or argument parameter are optional that is a function may contain no parameter function of the body the function body contain a collection of a statement that define what the function does comments comments are part of the program used to clarify the operation of the program or provide more information about it comments are ignored and not compiled into the executable code by the compiler variable any number changing its value during program operation is called a variable simply if the program add two numbers number 1 and number 2 in this case number 1 and number 2 and sums are variable declaring the variable variable name can include any of the alphabets character a to z and a to z in small digit 0 to 9 and underscore characters the compiler is case sensitive and differentiate between the capital and small letter the function and variable name usually contain lower case character while constant name contain upper case character variable name must not start with a digit conditional statements 
mission statement in C programming are used to make decision based on the condition. Conditional statement executed sequentially where there is no condition around the statement. If you put some condition of a block of statement, the execution of flow may change based on the result evaluated by the condition. In C programming, conditional statements are possible with the help of the following two statements. If statement and if else statement. If statement. If statement is responsible for modifying the flow of the execution of a program. If statement is always used with a condition, the condition is evaluated first before executing any statement inside the body of if. The syntax for if statement is as follow. If condition and instruction. You can see in this figure. Here is program is start. If condition true, it will perform this task. If condition is not true, it will jump from here to there. In case of no, it will no it will not execute this one. If condition true, it will execute this block and it will continue the next block. If else statement, the if else statement is an extended version of if. The general form of if else is as follow: if test expression true block of statement, else false block of statement. You can see in this figure. Here is program start. If condition true, yes, it will execute this one. And it will exit from the if statement. If condition is not true, no, it will execute this block of code and it will exit from the if statement. Switch statement. Switch statement in C test the value of a variable and compare it with multiple cases. Once the case match, it found a block of statement associated with that particular case is executed. A general syntax of a how switch case is implemented in C program is as follow. Here you can see switch expression and here is the case, case 1, case 2 and number of case, number of case n and default and break. If any case is match, just like we will add here value 1, this case is match, it will execute this block, after that it will break the instruction and it will exit from the switch statement. If next block is match, it will execute this block and it will exit, exit from the switch statement. You, uh, you can also see in this picture, here is switch statement, switch start, case 1, match. It will execute this block and it will exit. If case 2 is match, it will execute this block and ignore our other and it will break the switch statement and exit from the switch statement. Loops A loop executes this sequence of statement many times until this stated condition becomes false. A loop consists of two parts, a body of a loop and a control statement. The control statement is a combination of some condition that direct the body of the loop to execute until the specified condition becomes false. The purpose of the loop is to repeat the same code a number of times. Here is the loop is start. When condition is true, it will execute this block of statement. After execute the block statement, it will again check the loop statement. If true, it will again execute this one block. And after that, it will again check the condition. When condition is false, it will exit from the loop and it will execute to the next block of statement. Types of loop. Depending on the position of a control statement in a program, a loop is classified in following types while loops, do while loops, and for loops. While loops 
A while loop is a most straightforward loop structure in the basic format of the while loop is as follow while condition and statement. It is an entry control loop. In while loop, a condition is evaluated before the processing a body of the loop. If a condition is true, then and only then the body of the loop is executed. After the body of a loop is executed, then the control again go back at the beginning and the condition is checked. If it is true, the same process is executed until the condition becomes false. Once the condition becomes false, the control goes out to the loop. While loop is the entry control loop. If condition is true, then it will execute this code, otherwise it will not execute. Do while loop A do while loop is similar to the while loop except that the condition is always executed after the body of the loop. It is also called an exit control loop. Do statement while and expression. In do while loop, the body of the loop is always executed at least one. After the body is executed, then it checks the condition. If the condition is true, then it will again execute the body of the loop. Otherwise, control is transferred to the out of the loop. In while loop, we can check. You can see if condition is true, then the statement will execute. But in do while loop, it will always perform this status and after performing the, this statement it will check the condition if condition is true it will again repeat this statement otherwise it will exit from the do while loop for loop a for loop is a more efficient loop structure in c programming the general structure of for loop is as follow for initial value condition increment or decrement and statement